A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany. And we're gonna look at something really cool about outer space. And we're gonna look at some fun facts about the moon. Wow. Yes. I love the moon. I know, I love moon watching. It's so nice mm -hmm. when it's like a nice clear day and you see the stars. Mm -hmm. But before we look at our article, I do have a warm up question for you guys. How often do you look at the moon? How does its shape change? Okay. Well, I'm not really sure how often, but I think the last time that I looked at the moon was probably like last month. Mm, okay. Is it like round on the 15th? I'm not sure. Lunar know. calendar? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what date, but I do know the moon has different shapes. It, sometimes it's a round shape. Sometimes it's like that half, half moon shape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but yeah, mm -hmm. I think the last time I looked at the moon is... I don't know. I usually look at the moon when the weather is nice, so oh, I don't know when. <laughs> true, true, true. When there's no clouds. Yeah. Okay, see. that's when I notice the moon a lot, okay? But yes, we're going to be looking at some fun moon facts with Evelyn and Ethan today. So let's take a look. Fun moon facts with Evelyn and Ethan. Warm-up question. How often do you look at the moon? How does its shape change? Happy Moon Festival! It's a nice night. I love these mooncakes. Hey, look at the moon. It's so big and round. You know what? The moon looks round, but it's not a perfect circle. Its shape is actually an oval like a lemon. All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at a conversation between Evelyn and Ethan. And you know what festival it is right now? It is the Moon Festival. So they are celebrating the Moon Festival and this is where our scenario starts. Evelyn and Ethan are celebrating Moon Festival. Ethan says, Happy Moon Festival. It's a nice night. Of course, Moon Festival can also be known as Mid-Autumn Festival. And the reason why we celebrate this is because a long, long time ago, people would use this day to honor the moon for a good harvest. But of oh. course, Nowadays, people just have a nice barbecue and enjoy the beauty of the moon. How do you normally celebrate the moon festival? I usually just spend time with family. I go back home and mm. I enjoy mooncakes with them or a nice meal. Yes. Like a barbecue. Yes, mm. so what yummy. Um, I'm more or less the uh, same. Yeah, because you're American, you don't really celebrate, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but of course, any t any chance to celebrate and have fun, we will do it. My friends, uh, their family has like a big pool. Ooh. So like sometimes we go to their house to have a pool party awesome. and then we have barbecue at the same time. So I always look forward to that if the weather is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, next let's take a look. Evelyn says... I love these mooncakes. Hey, look at the moon. It's so big and round. And then we see a picture of a big round moon in the sky. I know you're not supposed to point, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, there's some stories about that. Don't point at the moon. But yes, mooncakes are, of course, those really yummy treats that are round. And usually there's filling inside like red bean or lotus paste, oh, right? So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love mooncakes so much. Yeah. Are you a big fan? Um, I do, but like I can't have it every day. It's definitely... I, uh, 
right? So a very high calorie. <laughs> very high calorie type of food. But yeah. you don't always have to eat moon ca uh, cakes during the moon festival, true, right? True, true. There's a lot of other yummy yeah. foods to eat, like pomelo. Mm -hmm. Oh, yogurt. Mm -hmm. And then like you could peel it and put it on your head, oh, right? <laughs> and also we can play with sparklers. Oh. I used to play with sparklers as kids. Oh, that's like as a kid. right. Mm -hmm. So you don't always have to eat. You can also play as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue reading. Ethan says, you know what? The moon looks round, but it's not a perfect circle. Its shape is actually an oval like a lemon. Okay, oh. and then we of course see, you know, a picture of Evelyn. She's imagining a yellow lemon in the sky. Mm -hmm. Actually, I did not know that. When I look at the moon, I always think of it as like a circle, which is, you know, mm -hmm. perfect all around. Right. An oval is kind of a different shape. It's very similar to a circle, but it's wider in one direction than the other. So it could mm -hmm. be wide this way, it could be wide this way, like an egg. So yeah, an egg is an oval shape. Mm -hmm. um, there are other shapes I'm probably sure that you have learned about in school. Like mm -hmm. there's the parallelogram, mm -hmm. which two lines are kind of mm -hmm. like the same. Yeah, we have a pentagon. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, and then we have a rhombus. It kind of looks like a diamond as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we learn all those in math. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you guys know the, the English names, mm -hmm. but those are the English names uh, that you learn about in math class. Mm -hmm. What? How is that possible? Our eyes don't see well enough to see the flat parts of the moon. Also, the moon is almost 400,000 kilometers away from Earth. From that distance, it looks round to us. Wow! 400,000 kilometers! All other seven solar system planets can fit between Earth and the moon. That's so far! All right, so if you're like me, you didn't know that the, the moon is not a perfect circle, it's actually an oval. Evelyn says this, what? How is that possible? And Ethan says, our eyes don't see well enough to see the flat parts of the moon. Oh, oh okay, that's right, because the moon is very, very, very far away, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then also as well, if you zoom in on pictures of the moon, there's it's not completely smooth and flat. There's you know ups and downs and bumps and stuff as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's called the craters. Yeah, right? that's right. It's not as smooth as we think. If somebody has like um Ah, Zits, pimples. Like pimples and yeah. Just, oh, no. Oh, my that's gosh. So, so mean. And I know. They used to call that crater face. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of mean, but that's when you have very, very, very okay. severe, like, pimple problems. But it's okay. That can always be fixed. You can see the doctor mm -hmm. now. You can do many things to fix yeah. it now. So don't worry. Um, but Ethan says... Also, the moon is almost 400,000 kilometers away from Earth. From that distance, it looks round to us, okay? True. So because it's super, super, super far and our eyes can't see that far, it looks perfect and round for us. But just to give you a reference on how far the moon is, it's basically like driving around the middle part of the Earth 10 times. Wow. Okay, and that takes about like they say around six months or so. So mm -hmm. think about just how far the moon is. So yeah, that's 400,000 kilometers for I you. I just think it's really cool to think about like how big the outer space is, right? I know. It's so crazy. It just makes me feel like we're so small. It, definitely we are. And like, if we even get a chance to go and visit, I don't even know if we can actually travel yeah. to outer space, but that would be so cool if we could space travel, mm -hmm. right? Okay, but let's go back to the article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see a picture and Evelyn, she's of course very, very excited to learn more about the moon. And she also says, wow, 400,000 kilometers. So she's mm -hmm. like, how far is that? <laughs> actually, when I was little, my dream was to travel to the moon. Yeah. But do you think, it it's possible for like normal I mean, people like us to go. I don't know. I mean, like astronauts have done it before, mm -hmm. but I don't know if, if what would be 
if I, it would be it would, possible to have space travel now. Like mm -hmm. I know, like maybe uh, who is it? Jeff Bezos from mm -hmm. Amazon, or maybe Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to make it possible for oh. normal people to travel to the moon. Mm -hmm. I mean, must cost a lot of money. Though. I know. Mm -hmm. Would you sign up for that? I think um, yes, right? Not, like if I had that money, I'm not really sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If we were rich enough and money yeah, wasn't maybe, a problem, yeah, probably maybe I would. that would be pretty cool mm -hmm. to go so to the cool. moon, right? Okay. Next, Ethan says. All other seven solar system planets can fit between Earth and the Moon. Hmm. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't even think about that. Evelyn says that's so far. Okay, now when we talk about the solar system, it's basically the system that makes our little universe so special because mm -hmm. our universe is centered around the Sun. Uh, which is a, a big star, and the other planets that go all around it. Mm -hmm. Do you know all of the other planets of the solar system? Testing your science oh my God, right now. <laughs> I'm really bad. Okay, so I, I think I know Earth is one of them, of course, right? and yes. also Mars mm -hmm. and Mercury. Yes, and Jupiter. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, Pl okay, Pluto is not one anymore. Neptune. Okay, yeah. Hai Wangxing. Saturn. Saturn, Tashing. Is that the one with the rings or no? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, that is. That's the one okay, around okay, with okay. the rings. Okay, okay. okay and okay. then Uranus. That's Tian Wang Xing. Yes, and I kind of remember these these planets because of Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to watch Sailor Moon a lot, and mm -hmm. then I remember the planets this way because oh. all of the girls. I don't know. You've watched it, right? Oh, yeah, when I was younger, yes, yeah. yes. It was popular when we were very young, so mm -hmm. I remember all the girls because they were named after planets. And oh, my favorite really? was Jupiter. I have, such a, like, I have such a bad memory, but I think it rings a bell now. Like, yeah. You mentioned it. It's so cool. So yes. my favorite was Jupiter, so that's how I kind of remember the planets, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was really, really fun. But yes, um, now we see a picture of Evelyn and Ethan, and he's imagining all the planets. So we mentioned Mercury, Venus, Mars, oh. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in between Earth and the Moon. Wow. I don't know how it can squeeze. So uh, that's that's really far away. Just to give you a perspective on how big outer space is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of those planets can fit between the Earth and the Moon. We are so far away. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is crazy, mm -hmm. right? All right, but that does come to the end of the today's article. We do have some more um, things to learn, like we have some word powers to learn, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it to you, Chickaline, to teach them some of the word power words. Let's take a look. Round 在我们文章中就是形容词，那它是原形的意思哦。所以像我们当名词也可以，就是有指拳击啊，或摔跤比赛，或你们有在玩游戏的一回合的意思。所以进行一个回合，其实英文就是 complete a round， 或者是拳击手他们在打架的时候，在比赛的时候，第几回合也可以这样讲 ：The boxers fought fiercely in the final round。拳击手呢，在最后一回合打斗得很激烈。那平常我们开的会议，圆桌会议，英文就可以说 a round table meeting， 因为这边的 round 指的也是圆形的意思嘛。像我们地球是圆形的，英文就可以说 the earth is round。那我们看另外一个句子 ，Talia formed the snow into a round ball with her hands。Talia 用双手把雪捏成一颗圆圆的球。那我们在文章中有提到说，哎，月亮它并不是 flat。Flat 在这边是形容词，是平坦的意思。可是，在英式英文的名词呢，也可以有公寓的意思。但在美式英文，我们比较常说 apartment 或者是 condo。但 condo 大部分会比较像是买的。所以，比如说你讲英式英文说要租一套公寓，英文就是 to rent a flat。比如说 ，they decided to rent a flat in the city center or in the city， 在城市里面。那平坦的土地，英文就可以说 a flat。Piece of land. All right. Now we're going to look at another example. Riding a bike on the flat path was easier than going up the hill. 比起上坡呢，在平坦平坦的小路上面骑脚踏车会比较简单。那我们又看到这个字哦 ，kilometer 指的就是公里。所以你跑一公里，英文就是 to run a kilometer。比如说，我们再加一个句子 ：The school is located about three kilometers from here. 学校距离这边大致上差不多三公里左右，所以这是公里嘛？公分就是 centimeter。那公尺我们英文可以说 meter。那我们再看另外一个句子，我们用 kilometer 来造句。Benson runs three kilometers every morning to stay in shape. Benson 的每天早上都会跑三三公里来维持他的身材。
。那今天讲到很多行星嘛，我们刚刚有讲到很多星球的名字。Planet 就是行星的意思，所以我们啊、嗯，像比如说这些太空人啊 ，scientists， 他们发现了行星，英文就可以使用 discover 这一个字 ，like you can discover a planet。那我们看另外一个句子 ，astronomers discovered a new planet in the solar system。那另外呢，像类似地球的行星，我们就可以说 an Earth-like planet。那我们看另外一个句子 ，Mars is often called the red planet。Due to its color, 因为火星红色，所以通常就会被称为红色星球。那我再看另外一个句子哦。Scientists study Earth and the other the other planets to learn more about space. 科学家呢研究地球跟其他行星，来了解更多有关于太空的知识。所以这边是我们今天所有的单词，大家不要忘记复习。Right now, let's go to our review time activity. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our review time. And today, shall we do fill in the blanks? Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah, because it helps you kind of guess and like there's clues to it, right?、Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe I will say a sentence, and you guys can try to guess along with Chickaline. Okay. okay.、Yeah. All right. So,、um, first one, my favorite. Blank is Saturn because of its cool rings. Oh, we just talked about this earlier,、yes. right? Do you guys remember? Just so the moon, Saturn. <laughs> so, uh, two moons, right?、Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's planets. Yes, good planets. Okay, next. Uh, a long time ago, people thought the Earth was. Blank and was afraid of falling off the edges. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it should be an adjective. So I think it's、um, flat. Yes, that's correct. The Earth is round. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not flat.、Um, next, the question is: He threw the blank ball and made the shot into the basket. Okay,、a、so you do something、blank. like this. A ball and is. You, you need an adjective to describe the shape of the ball, right?、So、I think it's round. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and the last sentence is, the hike is about three blank, so it's a nice and short one.、Uh, okay, okay, three kilometers. That's not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Okay, kilometers. We use kilometers here in Taiwan.、Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, did you guys get all of the questions correct?、Mm -hmm. You guys can also try to make your own sentences and have fun with these words. Words, okay. So、yeah. 今天的节目就到这边啦。如果想跟真人的老师一对一线上讨论，欢迎加入我们的空中家教。Yeah, that's all the time we have for today. But don't forget, we still have day two, so don't forget to stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Bye.